but uh, I am going to give another attempt to the Moonlight Butterfly, but this time... Oh yeah, our first time in human form since the beginning of the game. Oh yeah. We are going to be calling for help. Because we do need re- oh, my bad. Path is right here. Because yeah, with our damage, that won't do. But for this fight, you can summon. And me want that summon. Many people just like to summon because they say that the boss is harder, but I don't really... Well, that depends on your summon. You summon... Oh, here it is. It didn't go off? Oh man, this is going to be awful. Yeah. Come on. You are easier than I remember. Cheap bastard. Didn't let left anything for us there. I really don't like the head. Okay. I was about to say, really? Then I didn't hit the summon? Okay. Yeah, she will make this fight a lot easier. A lot easier. So where are you? Uh, I'm beginning to now that I remember a few things. Maybe the moonlight butterfly it's more susceptible to magic, which for me doesn't make that much of sense. But look how much damage it's our friend doing. Well, if she actually land a spell. Come on, Beatrice. You can do it. Come on, girl. There you go. Yeah. I will help. Don't do that. So yeah, I am beginning to think the Moonlight Butterfly is susceptible to damage and very resilient to physical. And just like that. The Moonlight Butterfly is down. Uh, which uh, for me doesn't make sense that she is that susceptible to magic because uh, I don't know. I she I see the that she is like so magical and stuff. You will figure that she is actually resistant to magic. Watchtower, Basement Key, and the Divine Ember. We can now use a... We can infuse a we one, uh, any weapon with the uh, Divine... So it makes uh, holy damage, I guess. Which is good for a Faith character. Makes the weapon scale with faith. But our sword is already infused with divine. It already makes divine 
damage. Holy divine. Was here? Was this worth it? To get? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, bye. Yeah, this set I just pick up is even better the one uh, that the one we pick up l uh, earlier by the Hydra. Yeah, they come to their trees came too close to me and that resets. It took me out from the bonfire, but they reset anyway. Uh, take care of you. I like to kill the trees because those uh, clumps that is really helpful with Black Town. Yeah, you did good, buddy. I never used the blotted one. Bye. I never used a blotted one because there is not many uh, enemies here that actually make you that make the bleed build and that clump is only good for that that's it well the other purple one is only good for poison but there is another one I don't remember the name uh, it's very much like the purple, but with some white stuff on it, and well, that sounds bad if I say it that way, but yeah, that heals, I think, poison and toxic, which is very good. Now... There is a place I want to go. There is one place I like to visit. Well, I am running around with a lot of souls. Should level up. So let's get our endurance. So we can wear a little bit, we can bear a little bit more of weight and we can run a little bit longer, we can swing our weapon more. Yeah, endurance. Really good. Hello. How you doing? How's it going? Hey, I did it. Look at me. I'm sure I will fail terribly with this. Oh, another one. I have to be on fire. Now. Come on. Come on out. Come on out, don't be shy. Just want to play with you a little bit. Very good swing, bro. Yeah. Now that one was better. Okay, I thought... There you go. They're very slow, but if they get you... Well... I'm sure by the impact you're seeing in your... You, by the impact you're seeing... 
they're hit pretty hard. Now here, this is another Firekeeper Soul, but if you pick it up and you already pick up the other two or one of the other two, it will trigger a a something. Mm, I don't want to trigger that. Now, now, I want to equip my bow. This is for bolts. No arrows. Okay. I'm rolling, checking. Yeah, we still fast rolling. Because I actually want to cheese this out. Because I don't like the Chandler. Oh. Okay, get out of that. Okay. Because that asshole will buff the burning ignite um the the uh, how was the name of this? I never could parry those guys. Um, what was the name? I know the shield is really good. And there is many people who actually like the weapon. I don't. But yeah, the weapon is not bad. Uh, what was the name of these guys? Oh, this guy is always a pain in the ass. Uh, there you go. Oh, sweet. A rapier. Now here you get a very good weapon as well. The halibird. I during my first playthrough, I used the halibird for a long time. Here is the basement key. We don't going to do anything with those guys down there just yet. We are going to unlock this. First, oh, I didn't want it to go with. Okay, I'll do it. This takes you directly to Firelink Shrine. Oh, by the way, I was talking about miracles. And there is this fatty right here. Well, yeah. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. This guy is a total douchebag, by the way. But we need it for now. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, one copper coin. You're so kind. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Sure. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Good to know. Okay, we cannot purchase the one I wanted. Um, we can have a second application of heal, but no. Come again. 
we cannot purchase the one I wanted. That's the homeward. So we don't need to use homeward bone anymore. We can just bone out with our talisman. Yeah. So. Let's keep it up. Now here should be another Boulder Knight. I remember the name. If he's doing that, it's really bad because he will parry you, but you just guard break him. And again. By the way, he's really bad on stairs. Ouch. Yeah, and they can heal too. But you know what? You know what? I am going to go in ground level. Uh, they didn't go off the back step. Well, just die. Those guys are really good to form Titanite Shard if you want to. Now this place. Well, luckily for us, we already killed the Chandler. So there will be no Chandler anymore. Okay. That place can be very dangerous if you just run inside. As you can see, there is a lot of those. Wait, did some of those fucks drag the body of the Chandler right here? I didn't kill them. I didn't kill him there. Oh well, I guess so. So, over here, I know there is items behind me, but I want to take care of this Boulder Knight. What a really bad backstab from a side. Huh. There is, I think, humanities in here. Yeah, well, a uh, humanity. Oh, it's over here. This door doesn't open. All right, here and over here. Still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without a course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well this guy, he's a, a total douche, and we will be killing him, just not there. Because yes, I am going to chase him as well. But not right now. I am going to be picking up this. Oh, there is an NPC I wish to I would like to talk because I want to summon him for the boss fight or the bell gargoyles and that's something I want you can by the way if you I think if you just set that guy we just set free and talk with him in firelink shrine which is the way we have to go. 
he can actually be summoned for the bell gargoyles as well, but I don't like him. So, the Firekeeper soul that is in the altar back there, uh, if you pick one of the others we pick up, that motherfucker will be killing our Firekeeper here. There is a way to uh, revive her, but um, it takes, it, it is really uh, further on in the game, it's not right now, he will kill her. So, uh, for safety I am going to take, it, take that off. And cheese the shit out of this guy. Come on, fall down. He's dead. He actually dropped some items. So you just quit the game. Relock. And here and there it is. Just like that. And I just remember something and I think after my first playthrough I always forget because I always cheese him like that as soon as I see him. I don't know why. But he, if you talk with him, if you take the time, talk with him before killing him of course because once he's dead you cannot talk with him. Logical. Um, he will give you a sunlight medal, which is really good for the sunlight covenant that we are going to be joining later on. Uh, what I actually want to talk with the sun, bro. I was just thinking on the best way to actually get to him. And this is a good way. I will be doing some farming on those guys off, ca off camera to get their gear so you can take a look and maybe the boulder shield is better than the dragon crest shield i don't remember the stats i i won't say i never use it but i don't use it that much and i don't remember if the stats are better uh no actually i fuck it up i fuck it up this is not the way i want to go this way. Oh, you glitch! Uh, you glitched here, huh? Yes, you are. Now you're dead. He was going to do to be dead anyway, but okay. We'll take care of him. Let's take care of him. This weapon is really good at this point of the game. Okay, I cannot get the backstab anymore. But that doesn't matter. Oh, you bastard! Wrong attack. I want to shield to break guard him. Bit annoying. There can be parried as well, but and they're easy to parry because they're telegraphed their attack very much. But they're like to really turtle 
uh, up with the shield, so that sometimes make it a little bit tedious to do. So it's actually better to just break their guard and kill them. Oh, I wanted to backstab this guy. I knew it. I knew it. And here you can get the night shield. I never use it that much. But we can look at the stats. Maybe it's better. Well, it's way heavier. So the stats are not all that great. It only has 10 more points to magical defense, which is not that great. And has one more point on stability. Yeah. So, no, I'm not going to use that shit. Over here, um, let me see. Oh shit. Yeah. Get backstab, son. If you're running through the other way, that little fuck will close the gate and you will be fucked. Because there is a Warhawk right down there. Shield break this, guard break this guy and take care of him. Let's take care of this guy. As you can see, I actually use the shield, but I don't use that much. That's why I said it's good to have a shield. It's good to utilize everything the game has to offer, all the mechanics you can have. It's really good to utilize them all, and that's what I like to do. The only thing I want to is wear uh, heavier armor, but if you do that, we will be missing the rolling. Now, the pick is really easy to cheese if you want. You just have to Throw the alluring skull there, skull there, and he will be walking to the fire, just like that guy as well. Oh, I thought it was it was going to be cooked. That hawk. Come on, piggy. Catch it, boy. Oh, that was a good amount of damage. Okay, I rolled the wrong way. He can be backstabbed, which is a really... bad spot to be backstabbed. Oh, like crossbow. Good, well, we can go this way as well. Do a little bit of exploring. Okay, let's heal. Using our faith. Get plunged. Yeah, our weapon is really good. Or against these enemies, at least. Hey, okay, what is the here? The master ski. Another one. Okay, here is an other item that I don't remember either what it is. A raw soul.
Uh, what are you doing there, buddy? Do you want to come down? No? Okay. Asshole blocking me the fucking way? I don't even... Oh, this lead this way. Huh, I never took that path. Or, well, not never, but usually. There is one more of these shield guys here. As you can see, they're like a lot of turtles behind their shields. Yep. And this way is close. Oh, no. Wrong turn. Over here. If I can find a way. Oh, I think it's down here. Oh, it's... No. I'm sorry. I know the game. It's here. You can go up here. There is a Black Knight. I don't want to deal with him right now. And down here. It's another path. Wow. Those rats take two hits to kill. Okay, let's heal up. Oh, crap. Get back. Well, they don't have a lot of stability. And you're dead too. If I had uh, enough arrows... Uh, usually there is a dragon there. It's not there. Because I didn't trigger his... Appearance. There he is! There is, he, there is the dragon. Okay, if you have enough arrows and patience, you can fire from here to his tail and cut it off, and you will get a sword, which is really good weapon, and you can actually, if you want, finish the game with that weapon. Yeah, it's that good. The weapon is that good. Okay, there is a door here, which leads to somewhere. And there is the place where we fought the Taurus demon, the first boss we killed was here. Just for educational purposes. Now, there is something else I want to, to, to explain. We might just speak with Solaire as well. It's right here. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> I like him. I don't like his armor. I hate the bucket helmet, but he's a very cool character. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? But what do you say? 
Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. What the white signs of stone? We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. All right. I leave you to it. Okay. Now, if you go over here. Oh, he'll leave one of those crossbow mans alive. If you go over here, there is the bonfire of the undead bird from early on the game. Now, you can kick down this ladder and go down there, which I won't do because that will trigger another behavior on the dragon. He will become a lot more aggressive. You cannot even stand here without being attacked by the dragon. Now what I'm going to try is to get in here. And here we got another bonfire. The dragon will leave. Now we can open the gate and we can loot this. It's a soul and here's the claymore. Claymore is a decent weapon if you want. And over here you can join those hollow one attack you by the way. Over here, later on, when, uh, when the Sun Bro is here, you can join the Covenant of the Sun Bros. That's not the official name, but that's the community name for it. So, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, if you like, subscribe. I encourage you to do so. and. Hit some, give some likes and share, comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.